Welcome back to a little bit of a different video today on the Shadow of War channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Shadow of Mordor. More specifically, one of the mechanics I wish they would have kept through Shadow of War. There is actually quite a bit that I wish they would have kept through Shadow of War, which I will make some other videos on. But today, we're going to be talking about one specific mechanic that I love the most in Shadow of Mordor that they should have kept through Shadow of War and into Shadow of War, which is the fact that if a random Uruk or Grunt manage it, like if one of the little Grunts manages to kill a captain, they become a captain this was one of the craziest things to happen because if you sent your guy on an ambush to kill another guy and then for whatever reason your guy didn't kill him but this little like grunt did they would level up and become a captain which is pretty crazy to think about they would become their their own unique character which is technically how it should be because if you think about it technically if a grunt kills a captain instead of another captain killing a captain you'd be like oh shit this guy actually did a crazy thing basically if you follow ratbag's journey from shadow of mordor you'd understand what I'm talking about. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, in the original Shadow of Mordor, when you actually sit here and help Ratbag along the way, you actually kill an enemy captain. And then he winds up bringing the ear of the enemy captain to some random grunts to get him to do his dirty work for him. And by showing that he is technically slain, even though he didn't technically slain the enemy captain, he is given, you know, he has gained approval from some of the Uruks to start, you know, some of the Uruks or Orcs to start helping him out with stuff like that. So when it comes down to it, this, in my opinion, is one of the things they 100% should have kept through through Shadow of War. If you're unfamiliar with it in Shadow of War, if a grunt randomly manages to kill a captain, it doesn't actually go towards that grunt and that grunt does not get promoted. Instead, what happens is it goes towards the captain that was in the ambush. So let's say for an example, I have a captain or a war chief that I have branded and I send him on a mission towards another captain or war chief and then a grunt manages to kill him just by like, let's say like, yes, yeah, some spear guys, they manage to throw it at him and kill him. Well, the thing is in Shadow of War, that experience doesn't go anywhere towards that grunt. It goes toward the main guy that you sent on the ambush to actually face him. Now that does make sense. However, it would be really cool in order for, for you know, storytelling sake wise to say, hey, this grunt, you know, rise to the ranks, did this, this, this. And then like the guy who sat here and was on the ambush mission with him originally, and then he killed the guy and they became blood brothers, a bunch of other stuff like that. But I think if I remember correctly, due to nemesis reasons or how the system works, they really couldn't implement that in the game to where it would work like that anymore because they expanded it on such a large scale compared to the first game. Another thing that I wish they would carry over, or this is the number one biggest thing, in my opinion, compared to, you know, Shadow of Mordor, is the nitty grittiness of Shadow of Mordor. I love the nitty grittiness of Shadow of Mordor. It gives me a really, like, Batman Arkham Asylum-like vibe when I'm playing the game of how the graphics look and how the world is, like, dark and everything. In Shadow of War, you have that in only, like, one or two places, and that's about it. The rest of it, the game's a lot brighter. You can see a lot more and stuff like that, which I understand why they did that, but I feel like the problem with that is the game's graphics suffer just a tiny bit because here's the problem when making shadow of war they actually had to expand obviously way bigger maps in the original game and in doing so they spent more time on the you know the the uruks and the captains with the classes and different things along those lines than they majorly did with the maps a lot of the maps in the game they did work on they did put detail on but you could tell compared to shadow of mordor that in shadow of war some of the places are just copied and paste uh, from where they were before like some of the camp raids are the exact same and different things like that and it's kind of similar in Shadow of Mordor kind of but for the most part they're unique because there's only basically two maps in the game so when it came down to it they had a lot more time to work on stuff like that in game design so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments section below what you guys think is a feature from Shadow of Mordor that they should have kept onto Shadow of War and I'll see you guys next time